Today, Jenny and I traveled back up to the Robesonia Goodwill to see what they had. Like I've said in the past, they always have, I always find something here, which is nice. It's a beautiful drive from where I live. And the first thing I saw was this beautiful counter cross stitch framed piece. It was large, it was long. Um, I liked it, I've done cross stitch. I know what workmanship went into that, but I decided to leave it on the shelf. This looked like, to me, a souvenir from Hawaii. It, I think it was a vase or a really fancy drink. And it kind of looked like it was made out of possibly bamboo. This was a stack of church plates, but I was seeing if maybe they snuck something else in there um, and they hadn't. So <laughs> I left those on the shelf. And then these two mugs, they had these really nice imprints on them, but the bottom of them reminded me of like a student piece and not a finished, um, like a finished established potter, which kind of seems, well, so student potters need to work too. I don't know. It just seemed they were large. I don't know. They just, it wasn't there for me. So I did not get those. This was a uh, kind of a vintage plastic flower wreath thing. I think I could imagine a pillar candle in the middle of that on your Thanksgiving table. And then I realized that underneath the flowers was this cool Japanese tray. It was made in Japan, still had the sticker on it. And it had a mid-century modern look to it, but it was very scratched up. And the material that it was made out of, I didn't feel that I could fix that. So even though I did like it and it was made in Japan, I did leave that on the shelf. Here was another piece of art pottery. This one is signed. See how the bottom looks different and more finished to me. It had a finished look to it. That was a nice little bowl. But sometimes I'll grab pottery and sometimes I won't. So... And then I always check to see if the trinket dishes have trinkets in them. This I thought was old, but it wasn't. TJ Maxx, they fooled you. It was new, to made, made to look old. And this was a really long celery dish. And uh, that was, they were selling that for $3.99. And then this was another little dish. And it was Carlton Ware. And it was $1.99. And it would made a cute little trinket dish, but I just wasn't, it just wasn't grabbing my, like, here, take us home. Someone wants us. There was this set. It was a little confusing because they were, it was, they had cups. I think those were cups. And then they had this tiny little pitcher or teapot. So I went back and forth and decided to leave that. But this, this grabbed my attention because it had hippos on it. And hippos were my favorite animal when I was a child. And the reason they were my favorite is my mom had made me a hip, a stuffed hippo when I was a baby. So I had that as a child, you know, as a, you know, two, three, four year old child. So I love hippos and I like that it was hand painted. It was probably a souvenir piece, but I thought it was cute regardless. This was a really big piece, really big and heavy. And I feel it was from the 80s based on the design, the paint design on it. And then they had some teacups and saucers. And then this was a hobbyist piece. It was very nicely painted. They were selling that for $4.99. And then around the corner, we're gonna see another girl and some boys that were hobbyist pieces. I've sold these before at Easter time when they look like bunnies. And this, because it looks like they're foiled chocolate bunnies. This one, it was only $1.99 and I debated about getting it but it did have a dent in the back of its head when I closely inspected it. And it was kind of on the big side. So I did leave that there. This was modern because it has a battery thing on the bottom. But I really liked the look of the snowman. It was bright and real cheery. I just wanted to show you that. <laughs> Here is a menorah with all of the pieces on it. Nothing broken off. And then I spied something green. Do you see it? But I go back to the menorah. And I like this. It kind of had a mid-century modern styling to it, the shape of the base. And then I have sold this before and I've sold it before with a little cup. They don't sell for very high. So I was excited to see it, but I did not uh, take it with me. Here is the other hobbyist piece, little girl. Someone did a nice job painting them. And then here are the little, the little guys, little sports guys. And then I spotted some other pottery and this mark on here, that RRR is Robinson Rand's bottom. Usually you see these as Crocs, they're very heavy. 
I'm using one that was a dog water dish or dog food bowl to hold my cake candle because it's the perfect size and it's so heavy I know the candle won't top over. This mug I thought was a little high priced at $4 for just one mug. So I left that there. And let's see, looking through the bags, you never know what you'll find in the bags. Here was, a, I felt that this was a like a chip and dip set. They would have all gone together with a centerpiece, a round centerpiece. So since there was just one of that Televera pottery, I left that there. This was some false graph. We see this pattern all of the time around here. That platter was $6.99. And then I was just being nosy if I could see a mark on this big giant bowl. There was no way I was going to buy the big giant bowl because it was so large. But I was just being nosy. It seems that all of the Goodwills around here are keeping some Easter up year round. I thought this piece was cute because the Easter, well, a, a bunny is wearing bunny slippers. I don't know if it's the Easter bunny. And then this was a bag of hobbyist pieces. And it was very interesting to me because they look like they were egg-shaped people. And some of them had that curly doll hair that you can buy at the craft store. And some of them didn't have hair. They had some really funny expressions like this, this little guy here. He was not amused. I just, I didn't understand what they were for. I don't know if they were Easter decorations or to sit on your shelf. So because I didn't get it, I didn't get, I didn't get it. So I left those for somebody else who was like, oh, I know what these are for. Here are two bunnies gardening. I know what these are, but the one didn't have a foot. It was just kind of gardening with the edge of his pants. So I did leave that there. I thought that was nice. Jenny really, 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 really wants a corgi, and I would have gotten her this one, but the corgi did not work. And they had a whole bunch of vintage china and some more modern china, and I think china like this is so pretty, even though it seems like no one ever buys it. But if you are starting out, or if you are gonna have a party, and you don't wanna worry about dishes getting chipped or dropped or anything, I would go to the Goodwill and get a whole bunch of china. Like if you were getting married or if there was a huge celebration with people, wouldn't that be pretty? A mix and match table with just different colored chinas and you could have the running theme could be flowers. And then you could have bought this whole shelf of china. So I was kind of looking for marks to see if there was anything I could look up, but I didn't really see any. So I just ended up just filming it for you so you could admire it with me and see how pretty the china is. Some of you might picked up on the tap tap tapping in the background. Those are my dogs. They're very worried about me while I'm, while I'm doing this voiceover. So they keep walking back and forth on the wood floor. So if you hear a tap tap tapping, it's my dogs. And now they've decided to eat. So you'll probably hear that too. Um, I picked these up because I had bought a whole bunch of bags of sugared fruit that you could stick the Christmas lights in. And this is three little sugared fruits that you could clip onto a tree branch. And so I thought those were pretty. This was a faux paper mache, made to look like faux paper mache figurine. And next to that, that's a dream sickles. You'll see them in the angels. And then sometimes they, uh, she made critters. And then I found more china further down on the aisle. And then I wanted to show you the mark. This is Anchor Hawking. This was Mikasa. They were selling it for $6.99. And a recent sold, sold just for $14.99. So I left that there. I know, she's shocked too. It only sold for $14.99. Here was another faux paper mache figurine. So I, I didn't want them, but I put them together to make a nice little, little vignette there. Maybe somebody will see both of them and buy them. Here's another dreamsicle angel. They're very cute. And then they had some other figurines. So I'm looking around to see if there's anything vintage or even anything modern that I really can't live without. Here were two matching birdhouses. They, um, I think you put votive candles in them. And then this was called Buffalo Snow, and I made sure it wasn't the snow that you used to decorate your Christmas houses with. 
but it was stuffing for stuffed animals and stuff. And I use that for my shipping. If there's anything breakable or anything that's very delicate, I'll wrap that, cocoon that in the stuffing and then wrap it in tissue paper and it protects the item a little bit better. Here was a Fisher Price Nativity. Jenny used to have one of these and I, when she outgrew it, we did sell it. Um, but I decided I wasn't gonna do that with this one. I was gonna find this bag of loveliness. Here were two hobbyist pieces from 1970. It's a boy and a girl holding a giant candle. They're adorable. They don't have any major chips or cracks. Both of them have the teeniest, tiniest little bit of missing paint on the top of their candles, but I love them. So then I thought, well, if these are in here, maybe there's some other vintage looking things. I felt that this hanger honor was more of a modern piece and not an older, you know, old new stock Santa. So I dig around in here for a little bit to hoping to find some more vintage amazingness. I did find a puzzle but I decided to leave that there. Then I found two of these book binders. They were probably ashtrays. Um, it's a re it was a restaurant in Philadelphia and I have one at home. So I thought, well, now I will have three and maybe three will sell better than one. Here was a cute little jingly jangly decoration. Um, that snowman was cute <laughs> with the pink boots on. That's cute. Um, let's see. Looking, looking, looking. I was hoping maybe these were old. I felt that they weren't. They had another puzzle. This would be a really big puzzle. So we're 1,500 pieces. So I do pick up puzzles if they're sealed and they sell well. I got this tissue because I use it for my shipping as well. And then this was around the other side of the Christmas section. This was another hobbyist piece. One of the things I love about finding hobbyist pieces is that they usually put the date on and I always get excited to see how old the date is the piece as old as me <laughs> is the piece as old as my sister. Um, <laughs> uh, this was a covered dish. I had never seen this piece before with the poinsettias on it. So Jenny did an excellent job of filming me showing this off for you. You could have had the covered dish and the matching pillar candle holder at the Robisonia Goodwill. And then I'm just poking around because Jenny's holding the camera and it's easier to look with both hands. So I'm taking advantage of her camera skills. In the stuffed animal section, they had some Boyd's bears. I did pick up these two little vegetable bears. They do sell well if you have more of them, but I have two, so two is better than one. This is a Christopher Radko ornament. Um, I don't know if it's the 911 ornament. I need to do some further research because the 911 ornament sells very well. Here are the three bookbinder ashtrays and the menorah. Has a little bit of wax still in it, but I think it's beautiful. This is everything else I got on our trip. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching it. And if you watch to the very end, you will see a special play put on by Charlie and Barney. Enjoy and I'll see ya.